Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at how can you create custom matplotlib styles. So what we are going to do here is we are going to use a very simple tool that is available and we are going to make a new configuration file for matplotlib. Matplotlib is the very most popular Python library. If you have read the news recently, even NASA is using matplotlib from Mars to display some image files. So what we are going to do now is first look at this repository, clone this repository into a local machine and then start creating style file interactively and we'll also see how to use that style file in our own chart. So let's get started. So this is the repository that I was talking about, pretty plots. Thanks to Yobibyte who has uh, put it together. Yobibyte, um, yeah, uh, so thanks to Yobibyte for uh, sharing this open source project. First step is you, if you want to just simply try it out, you can try it out using binder. But because we want to use it regularly, frequently, again and again, we are going to use it on our local machine. Now, you might ask me, why do we need even this, uh, let's say, style file or configuration file? The primary purpose is let us assume that you work in an organization or let us assume that you know um, you want to have all of your plots in a particular theme um, that is not something that is already available as part of the default matplotlib uh, themes but you know you want uh, the grid in a certain way you want the title in a certain way you want uh, the axis uh, text in a certain way so if you have you know these preferences or you want to change this every time you do not have to memorize all the syntax as how to make this change uh, and that is exactly what this matplotlib style file or configuration file is going to give you so if you want to see what is there in the configuration file it is available in this github repository which i will link in the youtube description you can check it out so what is matplotlib uh, style sheet or configuration file you can have a look at it so now let us go ahead and then open our terminal so in this case i am showing you my jupyter lab uh, because it has got a notebook and a terminal but you can do it separately on terminal and then come back to Jupyter Notebook as well. So first step is to copy the URL of the repository. You can go here and copy it and then go back, say git clone and then paste it. So this repository is getting uh, cloned here. So now you can enter pretty plots and then do ls and then see you have got a readme file. You have got uh, the main uh, um, notebook which we are going to use to interactively create a style file and a predefined style file and also test data for us to play with. So now we can go to the folders and then say where is pretty plot. Okay, pretty plot is here. Double click pretty plot and then you can see there is a notebook. Um, so you can see there is a notebook. Click that notebook and then that notebook is opened now. So you can close the terminal, terminal is not required anymore. So all you have to do is you have to run these files. So let me run the first one, the first cell and I can close this, probably not required at this point. Yep. Run this, run this. So you can see you have got the widgets. I can reduce the zoom a little bit so that you can actually see how it looks. So you have got the widgets here. Once you have the widgets, you can now change it. For example, you can say, let me reduce it further. Yeah, you can say that, uh, let's say I want to change the plot title. That's, that's all, you know, you can do it easily. But let's say you want to change the font size or you want to reduce the font size and uh, you want to in reduce the label size and you want to reduce the legend size. So you can see the legend size is getting changed or let's say you want to increase the legend size. You can see the legend size is changing. You want a grid, you can enable a grid. You want to change the figure's height. So something smaller like this. Every time you want it, something smaller. You want to change the shade alpha, like the transparency of it. And um, line width, if you want to increase the line width, decrease the line width, let's increase the font uh, figure size a little bit. Yeah, let's make the 
plot size also a little bit uh, yeah so once we have this defined so let us assume that this is how we want all our plots to be so the next simple step is you go and save the style the configuration that you have created the style configuration so uh, when we do this thing we are actually creating a style configuration the back end and then the style configuration looks somewhat like this it would look somewhat like this this is how the style configuration would look so it has got a lot of details like what line color you want what all those things so once that is defined you just go and then run this code uh, all you, you you can do is you can you can create um, a new style so i can say new style and we can save it so it's creating a file in the right mode and then it's going to take the configuration that we have written and then it's going to save it once we run it it's going to save it now go back to the folder and then see if the saved file is available it is not available and then the reason it's not available is because oh it's available yeah you can see the new style is available so now what we can do is we can see how to use this in our own code so let's create a new notebook python 3 okay let me call import matplot matplotlib dot pipe plot as plt yeah i think this is not required we just need the name we can copy it from the notebook so let's uh, copy the code of a simple line chart maybe even we can use this um, okay we don't have numpy uh, input by as np we have a chart like this so now instead of this what we can do is we can say uh, this is our file so we can say this as our file name i'll just add it at the top and what is our file name this is the file name that we gave for the style copy it paste it here run it and now we do not need this when you run this you can see you're getting the file in the same configuration that the same font size that the same file size very similar color palette and you can so that gives us the required matplotlib configuration file we can change the style you can temporarily use the style as well but if you want to permanently use this is the easiest way now you have one configuration file let's assume that you want to have like five or six themes like one in dark one in light and uh, one with grid without grid so you can save all these configuration file and whenever you need for a, um, for a specific purpose you can use that in your code i would link this uh, notebook and also the main um, repository on the youtube description you can check it out and please give a thumbs up if you find this video useful this was a very short video i just wanted to keep it short and then help you see how you can configure your matplotlib uh, style file if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise take care of yourself stay safe